Hello, I'm Brett Beckman, veterinary dentist, here to describe full mouth dental radiography in cats. When we position our patients, we position them in sternal recumbency initially to image the maxilla. And as you can see here, we're placing the sensor in the right caudal maxilla. Our angle for our tube head is generally about 30 to 35 degrees in this particular view. For the right maxillary canine, we position the tube head at the angle shown and generally place it at about 60 to 70 degrees as you can see here. The incisor view is imaged using the same technique with bisecting angle at about 45 to 50 degrees. The left maxillary canine again at about 60 to 70 degrees. and back to the left caudal maxillary cheek teeth. Again, we shoot that at about 30 to 35 degrees, getting up under the zygomatic arch, slightly elongating the image, however, uh, eliminating the superimposition of the zygomatic arch over those maxillary canine teeth. We undo the endotracheal tube to reposition the patient in dorsal recumbency for all of our mandibular views. And as you can see, we extend the head slightly to try to recreate a parallel arrangement between the mandible and the table. Now for the first shot, this is one place in the mouth that we can actually do a parallel technique versus the bisecting angle technique that we performed on the maxilla. You can see we're shooting directly at the sensor and producing a parallel image. Moving on to the lateral view of the canine tooth, we generally shoot that at about 60 to 70 degrees. That also gives us the third, fourth premolar and sometimes the mandible, uh, the uh, mandibular uh, first molar. <clears throat> Move on to the incisors at about 45 degrees and then back to that other canine at about 60 to 70 degrees. Finishing up, we repeat the parallel technique on the right side, as shown here, and that completes our full mouth series on the cat. Looking at our image directly here after we're finished, you can see that all of the images are in the template correctly. Correctly meaning exactly as if you were looking at the patient. For courses in wet labs, please visit us on the web at veterinarydentistry.net. And for a copy of my book that greatly simplifies veterinary dental radiographic positioning, please visit veterinarydentistry.net slash x-ray book.